Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us again. Joining us today is Dr. Rick Boehner. He's Chief Medical Officer at Precision Oncology at Exact Sciences. And he's joining us on the program to talk about the recent introduction of the Oncotype Map Pan Cancer Tissue Test. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Boehner. Hi, Neil. Thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today. Well, I mentioned that, of course, that you're Chief Medical Officer there at uh, Precision Oncology. Give us a bit of your uh, professional background and talk about your role there at Exact Sciences. Great. Thank you, Neil. Um, I'm actually a pathologist by training, and I've been working at Exact Sciences for over 20 years. We focus in on diagnostic tools for patients with cancer, both early stage disease, as well as in the metastatic setting, patients with advanced disease or metastatic disease and look forward to talking to you about this uh, today. Now, you recently introduced the Oncotype MAP Pan Cancer Tissue Test. Talk about this test and how it works. Sure. Well, Neil, the the Oncotype MAP Pan Cancer Tissue Test is uh, really a very powerful genomic tool. Uh, It uses uh, sections from the uh, patient tumor sample and next-generation sequencing technology, as well as immunohistochemistry. And this enables us to provide actionable insights uh, about the patient's distinctive tumor biology in order to help inform treatment decisions for people with advanced cancer. Um, Right now, we're at a place where there are just literally more and more targeted therapies that are available almost on a monthly basis. And what's so critical, these are being studied in clinical trials and um, they're the genomic insights that can be obtained from the patient tumor sample really help direct these therapies and have that potential impact or the potential to really be able to impact patient care by matching the right uh, therapy uh, with the right tumor marker. What types of specific insights are we talking about and are these insights obtainable from any type of tumor? Sure. So the Oncotype MAP test uh, looks at solid tumors, and uh, it assesses uh, a little over 250 genes or more than 250 genes. And um, in addition to providing uh, this genomic results uh, that are derived from next generation sequencing, um, we also assess from uh, sections of the tumor tissue traditional protein markers. And so the report is tailored to the patient's particular tumor type, for example, breast cancer. And uh, the patient and physician receive a report uh, that essentially can provide, uh, first of all, um, the actionable biomarkers that are associated with uh, over 100 different guideline and evidence-based therapies, but also combination therapies. And then I think importantly uh, for many patients, Uh, clinical trials. Which patients would you say are the most appropriate when it comes to testing with this map, with Oncotype map? Sure, that's that's a really great question. Uh, Today, uh, the Oncotype map assay is really for patients, for Americans that are facing advanced cancer. And there's around uh, a half million of patients that are facing advanced cancer. Uh, Today, Uh, many patients um, still don't have access to comprehensive genomic testing as they try to make these really critical treatment decisions. Um, And as a result, uh, some patients are getting prescribed treatments uh, that their tumors might not optimally respond to. So this right now, the test is being offered in the United States, and it's for Americans facing advanced cancer. What are some of the other features that you would say differentiate this test from others that are available? The um, Oncotype MAP uh, uh, pan um, cancer tissue test has been really optimized to um, work with very small samples. Uh, Neil, I'm, as I said before, still a a practicing pathologist. And what I've really spent uh, the majority of my professional career doing is trying to obtain very um, uh, biopsy samples from very small tumor tissues, metastatic tumor tissues, uh, in a way that really causes the least amount of discomfort to um, patients. And so the the ability to work with very small metastatic tumor samples is absolutely critical. And we've really optimized this test to be able to work with those. 
I think the second piece too is in patients that have advanced cancer, um, it is a rapidity with which you can get results back to that treating physician and to that patient. So we've also spent a fair amount of time really optimizing the speed with which we can provide those right. results. And in most cases, we can provide those um, in three to five business days. Patients who have advanced cancer or metastatic cancer, mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes these metastases of tumor, um, they can be either palpable or they can be non-palpable. And uh, today, the most uh, common way to get tumor tissue from these metastatic sites is either a targeted needle core biopsy, and this can be done through palpation if palpable, or through CT or other radiographic guidance. Another very common and perhaps less painful procedure is a fine needle aspiration biopsy. Both of these uh, sample these very small tumor foci, these little you know rests of, of metastatic carcinoma, and um, are able to provide samples, albeit in many cases, these samples are very small, oftentimes around the size of a, of a grain of rice. Can a, a cancer be considered advanced if it hasn't metastasized? You know, where we are right now is that these targeted therapies are largely today being used in patients with stage four or metastatic cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many exciting trials going on, however, in lung and in bladder, uh, in which just as uh, two examples, in which these targeted therapies are actually being moved into patients with less advanced cancer. So I think more, we have, there's a lot more to come. And I think this just highlights why this is such an exciting area right now today. There's such effort uh, from our colleagues in pharma that are developing these targeted therapies and combining them with these molecular diagnostics in order to meaningfully impact not only patients with metastatic disease, but hopefully we're able to treat patients earlier uh, with cancer so that we can meaningfully uh, change their outcomes. What about retesting? What about the failure rate of these tests? Well, those are, those are two really great questions. Um, perhaps the first one about retesting. Uh, what the scientific community is finding out today is that um, when these targeted therapies are given, oftentimes the tumor continues to evolve and it develops resistance mechanisms, making it resistant to these targeted therapies. And in that case, uh, additional molecular testing um, is often requested. Um, this can be in the form, uh, I just recently saw a patient who had advanced stage lung cancer, and they had received a tissue panel and had found an EGFR variant for which they were treated. And uh, they developed resistance, and the physician then ordered um, one of these tumor tissue panel tests from the blood. So very quickly, not only is tissue uh, I'm, you know, useful for doing repeat testing, but also the blood also can provide that opportunity to assess for resistance mutations, and that then can help guide that information subsequent um, um, therapeutic treatment decisions. We'd like to learn some more. Give us a website where we can get some more information, please. Sure. Um, we would recommend uh, that your listeners go to oncotypemap.com uh, for additional information. Well, I appreciate you joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Not a lot of time, but some very good information nevertheless. Thank you very much, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Rick Boehner. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.